Hi, good morning, welcome to a vlog. Today, as you can see, I'm just having a morning run. But today is one year since we went into lockdown. I'm on air, come with me. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Finished my run, I did 6K and it took me 31 minutes. So quite a good time, quite happy with that. But oh my God, I'm so tired. I normally run in the afternoon. And so I thought I'd try running in the morning because I'm going to work this afternoon. And oh my God, I realized why my asthma is just like <gasps> all over the place. Anyway, here we are, about nine o'clock in the morning. Need to go and have my breakfast, have a shower because I've got a meeting at 10. Here I am at my desk looking a little bit more presentable now and I've got a meeting um, because me and my friend Billy have been editing a magazine for two years, it's called Perspectives and today we are handing over the magazine to the new editors who are going to be looking after it for the next year so we need to talk them through it and then um, yeah, we'll relinquish control and they'll take over so that's quite exciting and then later this morning I've got an interview to record from home and then I'll be heading to work because I'm on air on drive time today. It's on air from three until six. Just had a call um, whilst I was just getting on with some show prep from Sky News. And so I'm going to be on the telly tonight at half eight. So that's really cool um, because it's one year on from lockdown. And we're going to talk about that and how it's affected uh, young people. So I suppose more on that later in the vlog. But I finished work tonight at six and half eight. I'm on air with Sky. So that will give me plenty of time. So that meeting's uh, all done. I've got about 45 minutes now where I'm just gonna get things ready for my drive time show today. Normally I'll be going to the studio quite early and doing all of this, but where we're in lockdown, a lot of it's being done um, from home. So I'm going to do all my printing. So I've got all my articles and all my notes and everything, and I can send them to the work printer. So they'll be uh, there on my desk when I get there. And I'm also gonna schedule all of my social media posts which will be going out throughout the show so that um, I don't have to remember to do them uh, when I'm on air. And then I've got one interview. So in about 45 minutes, it's with Jordan Banjo. You know, Diversity from Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, I'm interviewing him all about the one year anniversary of lockdown, how it's affected him and everything. So I'm going to be doing that one from home. Um, and then not long afterwards, I'll be heading to work uh, to do the show there. Just finished the interview with Jordan. He's such a nice guy and he's, um, he's in Essex as well at the moment. So I need to edit this um, to go out a little bit later on. And it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. It's a minute silence at 12 to remember the 126,000 people have lost their lives to COVID over the past year. So I need to make sure I've paused for that. Um, and then I'm gonna head off to work actually in about half an hour. Just arrived at work. Here I am listening to Jeremy Vine on the way in. I love. That's one of my favourite things as I drive to work. It's about 25 minutes. Just me and Jeremy Vine in the car. Absolutely love it. Need to get a couple of bits from the shop and then up to work. So I'm at work now. I am uh, just, I've got my scripts. I'm just having a little read through, checking I'm comfortable with all the interviews and I know what I'm gonna say. I've got my lunch. I've got a curry I made last night. I'm just watching the news, having a bit of a catch up on Sky News. I'll be on there later, though, aren't I? Um, but now is very much about the show I'm on. Um, today so it's half one now I'm on air at three uh, I'm into the studio at two o'clock because two of my four five guests today are pre-recorded so two of them I've got one at, half, one at two one at half two and I'll be recording them before we go on air so um, I'm just reading up those notes and then um, yeah three o'clock live uh, for three hours and it's packed absolutely jam-packed show so I've got to make sure I'm really on top of it and I know what's gonna happen so yeah just getting on and I'll talk to you in a bit. Now in the studio, it's all sort of cleaned and separate and just my area. In fact, I'm the only person in, in all of the studios at the moment. And um, yeah, about to do my first pre-record, then another one straight after, then on air. So pretty much ready. Every now and then you do an interview and the person who you're chatting to, just like you just match their energy and it's just so good. So I just interviewed a guy called Sam uh, from a local group doing like activities for young people. And he was just such a legend, it's so fun. Uh, one more, one more interview. And then we're on air. And I'm just playing some of my favorite music whilst I wait because that's the perks of being on the radio, I suppose. So here I am, all the preparations done in the studio, ready to go, just minutes away from being on air now. Let's cross to my first link, which is radio talk for my first little talky bit. <laughs> Just after three, a very good afternoon to you. From me, Johnny Jenkins. 
Thanks so much to Jackie, who's been on air since one o'clock today. She's live tomorrow with a panel of guests, so be sure to tune in to that. Coming up a little bit later this hour, we talk to Diversity star Jordan Banjo, uh, because today is a very important day. It's the National Day of uh, Memorial of the 126,000 people who have lost their lives to COVID-19 in the past year. We'll talk to a range of guests between now and six o'clock about the impact of covid on their lives and in a couple of minutes time we uh, hear those words which boris johnson said at this time last year putting us into lockdown and think back to where we were what happened how we felt when we heard those messages that's on drive time with me johnny today the 23rd of march one year on from england going into lockdown we start the show with dido thank you live and local till six so one of my interviews from a bit earlier is playing out and I can just have a couple of moments, pause, stretch my legs a bit. Um, and the listener has no idea that I'm walking around eating a banana. So the show's all done, time to head home now. A little bit of a drive home, take me about half an hour and then I won't be back here till next week. I work from home every other day and just come in on Tuesdays to do a live show. I have about half an hour to go until I'm on Sky and I'm just setting up my shot. Uh, I've got my microphone, which I need to clip on. I have my earpiece which goes in and it makes it look a lot better than if I was just wearing a pair of headphones. I've got a light on me, just preparing my shot. This is sort of what it's uh, gonna look like. And yeah, I'm just pretty much ready to go now. We've got the moment of silence with the candle in five minutes and then I come up here pretty much and join the Zoom and then I'll be live at half eight. So I'm going to join the Zoom now and go on the telly. So here's how it looks when I went on Sky News. Of course, because these people who are a little bit older and a little bit more vulnerable are our loved ones. And so I am completely comfortable with having made sacrifices over the past year. It's not been easy. It's not been fun uh, all the times. But young people aren't special. We've all been affected by the pandemic and we're just one group of society amongst many others. Just come off Sky News, that was a really good experience. Um, and Dermot Murnahan, the host, was was great. And yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So now time for chill and uh, yeah, a bit of relax. It's been a busy day. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.